Kahuna. <laughs> Winter's coming and it's gonna get cold. And if it gets cold, what do you do? Well, you don't stop flying, you start flying indoors. Well, the only way you can fly indoors is if you have a small quad. You can't fly around your 250 inside and expect it not to break or hit anything. Well, this frame is the LK TR120 frame. And this thing is a little. So, this it, it, the whole frame comes with this bottom plate, this top plate, and then it also comes with the uh, little nylon spacers and some metal screws to hold the plates apart. Comes with these little plastic things I would assume are uh, landing gear. And then it comes with the uh, front spacer, front spacers here. They go on the very front of the quadcopter to hold it apart and that's just so they're a little bit thinner than the uh, nylon things. And then I think it also came with these. And these, I'm not really sure what these are for. Probably to hold motors onto the arms, I would guess. This is going to be one of my early winter projects to put this together. Now, I don't actually plan on putting it together here in this video, but I wanted to show you uh, the different parts of this quad and do some measurements on the frame just so you can get an idea of what you're looking at in case you wanted to get one for yourself. This main plate is one and a half millimeters. Can you read that? Yeah, there it is. One and a half millimeters and the... Uh, top plate looks like it's about one and a half also there we go one and a half on the top plate now in here it comes with these little tiny motors and this is a kit that came with uh, the frame and the motors you can buy the whole kit uh, totally ready to put together but it costs a little bit more than buying these parts individually the bad thing is if you buy buy just like I have I had to make an order from Hobby King and one from Banggood to get all these parts but it's gonna be a little bit cheaper that way in the long run anyway this is the brushless motor that it's <laughs> that this thing's gonna use and this is pretty small I don't think you can really understand how small it is until you compare it to something you're familiar with this is an 1806 motor and this is the new <laughs> Whatever size it is, it's uh, whatever size this little motor is, but it is itty bitty. And <laughs> if you're gonna be putting um, the uh, motors on a small frame like this, you can't have an 1806 motor sitting on here. <laughs> that would just be <laughs> insane. And I don't think this thing can hold but about maybe uh, one or two inch per propellers, and that's almost bigger than the bell of this thing. <laughs> so that. Don't use 1806, but I just showed you that just to get an idea of how they compare. Uh, I'm also going to be using this video transmitter. Now, this video transmit transmitter is actually kind of heavy, but I'm going to unsolder the, um, the little um, piece up here and solder on an antenna directly onto it. And that should cut off quite a few grams off of this. And the nice thing about this one is that you can't tell, but it has a, a digital uh, number on the back so you can tell what channel you're on with a push button instead of dip switches, which is the big reason I chose it. And for this build, I'm using this mini uh, NASA 32 board, I believe. Yeah, I think it's a mini NASA 32 board. And it is really small. It's about half the size of a regular NASA 32 board. And it comes with the extra wires in there. So the wires are all going to have to be soldered directly to the uh, motors, I believe. I can't use the uh, adapters because it just had too much weight. And these are the propellers that it's going to be using. And these uh, are, I think they're for... Actually, on Banggood, I searched for LKTR120 propellers, and I found these. And they're not, they're actually really small. Here's my cut down 3-inch propeller from my 150. So, they're not really, they may, they might be 3 inches, or maybe about 2 inches or so. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And here's, here's a 5-inch propeller next to them, just for a little bit of size comparison. But in addition to these things, these are the ESCs that I'm going to be using. And these things are really little. I thought these are little 5 amp Turnigy, um, Turnigy ESCs. And I thought they would be a little bit bigger than this. But they're not, which is fine. It has uh, three little solder pads up here on the left hand side to where you solder on the motor wires. And, uh, sorry, on this side where you solder on the motor wires right there. And then two over here for the power and this goes back to the flight board. Now the nice thing about these ESCs is they have a uh, BEC in them so you can use this to power your flight board instead of having to have a separate um, power source or a voltage reducer or whatever. I was really hoping <laughs> to find a camera with a 120 degree field of view and they're out there and they're easy to find but the problem is is that they're not very light sometimes and so I got this itty bitty camera. This thing is very small and this can run anywhere from 5 volts up to 24 volts so it should be able to handle this quadcopter just fine and if I decide to put it on a different one it'll, it should work on there just fine too. 
this thing is so small. I, it, it's kind of weird when you start looking at this stuff online because it says it's two grams and you're like, how? what does two grams look like? Well, this is it, two grams of camera weight. And this has a 90 degree field of view. So I had to compromise on the field of view to get a little bit lighter camera. Maybe I'll change my mind later and get something with a bigger field of view. But this one looked like it would mount pretty easily inside the frame. So we'll see how this goes. So I got the ruler laid out on this frame and I got the zero centered over this motor shaft over here and it looks like it comes up to be right at 120 millimeters. That's actually pretty impressive. Most of them I've seen have not been exact but this one is the LKTR 120. So here's the LKR 120 and a Blade 150 and you can see how much bigger this Blade 150 is. Now if I hold this up here I'll put the uh, I'll line up this motor here and you can see how much longer the Blade 150 is than this thing. It is, this thing's gonna be very, very, very small. And the nice thing about the Blade 150 is you got a lot of room inside there for full size components and wiring. But this one is gonna have very little. So everything's gonna be packed in pretty tight. So anyway, just wanted to get show you this. Like I said, this is gonna be one of my upcoming winter projects. And if you are interested in seeing this build or seeing it fly, then go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions about this, leave me in the comments. I'll have some links to all these parts in the description if you're interested. And I think this will make a really fun winter project and it's going to be fun racing around indoors without breaking much. I had a little small quadcopter that used these propellers and these were like near impossible to break. So anyway, I got some more coming because I only ordered four because I didn't know if they'd be the right ones. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave me in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.